past four months, the Canadian dollar has taken its cue from oil, but the correlation has broken down over the past week. Crude has been in a relentless uptrend, rising to its strongest level in seven years. Since June, moves like this would have driven the Canadian dollar higher, but after hitting three-month highs, we're seeing a divergence forming with dollar cad bouncing rather than extending its slide. What's even more interesting is that the Canadian dollar, which is a risk-on currency, is not responding to the record-breaking moves in stocks. Instead of hitting four-month highs, it is bouncing off 123. The primary reason is monetary policy. The Canadian economy is actually doing quite well. Nearly all COVID-19 restrictions have ended, leading to notable improvements in the unemployment rate, which dropped to its lowest level in 18 months in September. Manufacturing activity is also rising, but inflation is the kicker. It grew at its fastest pace in 18 years on an annualized basis. The Bank of Canada was one of the first central banks to taper asset purchases in April. They repeated it again in July and are expected to reduce purchases this month. The problem is the market has already discounted October and December taper, with the Canadian dollar appreciating 4.5% over the past month. In the near term, the correlation between oil and the Canadian dollar hinges on the Bank of Canada. If they decide that it's time to talk rate hikes, the Canadian dollar will ignore oil and trade primarily on shifts in monetary policy expectations. But in the long run, the correlation always resumes because not only does Canada have the world's third largest oil reserves, but barring supply shocks, the price of oil reflects demand and demand reflects the robustness of global and Canadian growth.